So when you're driving your car, if you're trying to find out if somebody is following you or not in your vehicle, obviously you're going to be checking the mirrors. But on the long stretch of road like this, when you start to come up to an exit, put your turn signal on and shift lanes like you're going to make that exit. And then you're watching your mirrors to see if anybody replicates that movement. And then skip the exit. Let them stay behind you. And once the exit's passed, switch back to the other lane. And you're looking for the patterns behind you. You're looking for people that are replicating your movement. That's called an error of correlation, where their movement co-relates to your movement. Another thing you can do to start fleshing out whether you've got a tail or not is to vary your speed. You don't want to break the law, really, but if you're going faster than the rest of the traffic, they're going to have to keep up with you, which means they're going to have to stick out, too, by going faster. Or you can go the other direction and go slower than everybody else and have people pass you. And you're looking for that person that just does not speed up. They want to stay right behind you or two lanes to over and keep an eyeball on you. And so varying your speed, either too fast or too slow, will help cause the people following you to commit another error of correlation. When you're riding down the highway on multi-lane roads like this one, you're looking around, you're approaching vehicles, you're passing them, taking them over. As you come up to a car that is maybe on your right, if you're in this lane, you're trying to figure out why, whether that car is coming into your lane or not. And the fastest way to, to get the best indication of what a vehicle is going to do, other than looking at the driver's head, because they'll usually look to their mirror if they're going to make a lane change, is to watch the front uh, front tire against the white line. Don't watch the body of the vehicle, just watch the tire. That'll show you whether that vehicle is coming close to the line or not, and that'll let you get some idea about what their intentions might be. If you're looking again to, we're trying to pull surveillance out and make them commit an error, you want to make a turn every now and then and you're looking for people to follow you on your turn and it's uh, easier to look back and see behind you more naturally if you make left-hand turns it allows you to see more of what was behind you as you're making that left-hand turn 